My name is Austin, and uh, I was wondering what machine learning is and uh, how it is taught. I'm Rob Nowak. I'm a professor at UW-Madison, a member of the Wisconsin Institute for Discovery, and also a scientist in the NIH Center for Predictive Computational Phenotyping. My primary area of research is machine learning, which is an area of computer science that focuses on building computer programs that enable machines to learn by example, much in the way young children learn about the world around them. A young child can learn to distinguish between apples and oranges by showing her many examples. Soon she'll recognize certain features, the color of the orange, the texture of the orange, apples tend to be green or red, and they're shiny and often have a stem. Machines can be taught to tell or apples and oranges apart in much the same way. A machine can be given a set of images of different apples and oranges. Along with each image, it's told whether the image is an apple or an orange. Then the machine can automatically extract features from these images, like the color, shape, and texture. And after looking at how these features are associated with being an apple or an orange, it can learn to predict whether a new fruit image is either an apple or an orange automatically with no assistance from a person. Here at the Center for Predictive Computational Phenotyping, we're using machine learning to understand diseases like cancer. Many diseases are related to abnormal levels of gene activity. The gene activity levels are features that we can a machine can use to distinguish between healthy and disease cases. Because there are thousands of genes, it's difficult for a person, even an expert scientist, to figure out which genes are really most important for a disease. Machines, on the other hand, can look at thousands of genes at a time. They have no trouble doing that. And so we can use machine learning techniques to try to help scientists identify the most important genes in a disease process like cancer. 